Hey guys, Allie Marie here. I wanted to be able to share a quick update with you today. Um, I'm not in my typical spot because it's just gorgeous outside and I still have the little sacred hearts here with me on our little porch swing. But I wanted to share the results from my scans this past weekend. I went to the University of Michigan to the Cancer Rogel Center where they decided that I would need to get scans like a full head and spine MRI as well as a lung CT scan. So all of those results have come back and thank goodness the um, brain tumor that's at my Petrus Ridge location is stable. They didn't even give me the measurements. They just said that it looks stable compared to the June MRI and then no other part of me looks like it has spread. So that was amazing news to receive. They did find something in my lower back. So I have had chronic lower back pain since my first brain surgery back in 2014. They did a spinal tap at that time. Then I also had an epidural with my first daughter. But um, but I've had chronic back pain that's been getting worse and worse. And when I was pregnant with Juliet, my second daughter, near in the third trimester, I was falling. I was losing stability in my left leg. I was having all of these issues. And so on the scan, they actually did find a cyst that's down there. It's a four centimeter high cyst. And it's like, five millimeters by eight millimeters. So it's very narrow and tall. And that is making actually, there's a mass effect from it that could be very well causing my lower back pain. They saw one of my muscles on the left side has atrophied, which means that it's actually shrinking in comparison to the right. My piriformis muscle is actually smaller on the left. And so I'm, it's, it's been so long and so severe that my, um, that, my muscles are actually beginning to compensate is what that's looking like. So even though cancer hasn't spread, which is amazing news, you know, everyone's like, congratulations on your good news. And yes, it is a sigh of relief, hands down. Um, it is still looking like I'm going to have to have an additional surgery, but I am meeting with the neurologist here soon. I'm going to have to get my neurosurgeon reinvolved again for this particular issue. It's another rare type of cyst, of course. My husband looked at me and he was like, what is up with you? I just, I don't know. But, um, but it's, uh, subarachnoid cyst is an extradural subarachnoid cyst is what they're that the imaging is suggestive of so anyway so there's like it's it's not it's a common procedure but it's still a major surgery that takes several weeks to recover from you know who knows i have to talk with everybody to see exactly what needs to be done but so there is something else and and we felt just somewhat relieved about that because i have had just such terrible pain in my lower back. I haven't even, I don't even talk about it, right? Because I have all these other things going on, but, but just to have some sort of um, end goal in sight there is really affirming to us because it's been so, I mean, it's been six years, seven years now. And, um, and, and so on top of that, okay, so seven years, I've been doing YouTube videos for seven years now, it was seven years in July, and I am feeling staunch. I think is the word. I'm feeling very stagnant. I don't feel like I can be myself in these videos. I'm very, I feel like I have to be measured, composed, balanced, not offend anybody. Um, be very careful that everything that I do and say is perfectly in line with doctrine because I want to cater to the traditional people. I want to cater to Novus Ordo. I want to like, I, I have this like idea of social media of who is my target audience. And, and that that has been drilled into my head so many times. And I'm just sitting here, I'm like, I just wanna be myself. You know what, I am overdoing this for followers. I'm overdoing this to have an aesthetic thing. I'm overdoing this to be consistent or this or that. I understand, you know, there are certain things that will remain the same, such as, um, you know, I'll, I'll still post at a particular time, at least like Thursdays at 3 p.m. I enjoy that, I enjoy having the deadline. But you know, I'm on TikTok again now and I'm actually doing fun videos that, you know, I'm gonna start dancing here soon. I got Alec to dance with me in a video and I'm going to basically just stop being this very um, straight edged Catholic on social media. I'm like, I feel like I'm starting to go crazy and maybe it's because of this. I mean, I don't know if I'd call it like a near death experience, but seriously having to contemplate my death and be like, okay, if something happens, what would we do? And being in that place, gosh, I didn't even think I was gonna cry. I didn't even feel like, but just stating it out loud, I guess I didn't even think, I didn't know it was, it was going this direction. But like, 
being in that place for so long, you guys just like not knowing, being like, oh, I could have to have brain surgery next month. Like what's, you know, what, what is this doing? Is it exploding? Is it growing slowly? Do we don't know enough? We need some, another graph point. We need all these things, you know, has it spread? Um, is another one going to pop up in a new location? All of these different things, right? So, so we've been in that place just for so long. And now that we know the results, now that we know the direction that this is going to take, now that we have some finite information to work with, um, my neurologist seems to feel that I should be able to put off brain surgery for two to three years. And that is um, very, very good. We, as I've shared, had to postpone pregnancy because of this, and I'm still at a place with the lower back stuff now that, that it is treatable. Um, we have still opted, I'm going to meet with a couple more doctors before we make a firm decision on whether we will try to have another baby right now or if I should go ahead with the lumbar surgery first and then pursue pregnancy because I don't know that I could go through another pregnancy with as severe of lower back pain as I experience. It was unbearable some days. I couldn't walk some days. And so we may have to still just wait a little bit longer, but the whole idea that there would not be any pain anymore is um, mind blowing to be quite honest, because it has been so constant, so persistent, so debilitating at times. Um, I just, I, I, I'm so glad they finally did a lumbar MRI and agreed to it because I've seen several doctors about this and they're just like, oh, you need to go to PT. Oh, you need to do this. Oh, it's probably nothing. It's just musculoskeletal. And come to find out there's actually a growth in there, a lesion in there that's causing an issue on the spinal cord. So on the fecal sac specifically. So anyway, so just feeling very grateful for that information. Like, inform like knowledge is power, information is power. And we have to be vigilant to gather that and fight for ourselves and whatever that looks like. But I'm just grateful to have a doctor at this point that was like, let's just look at everything. You're saying you have pain there, let's see what's going on. And we will cross that bridge, you know, doubt. I doubt it's anything, but let's just double check. And turns out it was something. So. So those are all of the results and I'm planning on coming back now that I am active on TikTok, active on Instagram, making these other short little 15 second videos and just having so much fun with that and getting Alec in on some of that fun as well. I'm just looking forward to growing with you guys that way and honestly, like I got my Moderna vaccine the other weekend and I've lost so many followers since then. I know I lost a lot of subscribers back in December when I posted about it as well, saying what the Magisterium taught on it all and, um, and, and the same thing is happening now on Instagram where I announced hey I got my vaccine and this is why you know mama said it was right <laughs> did it to a TikTok deal but it's like the FDA the CDC the magisterium all these things the USCCB all of these places are saying it's okay it's morally permissible so we decided to make a choice as a couple and we're deciding to take the risk of the vaccine to say we know that there are potential side effects but we are going to go ahead and do that because um you know, I think the stat that stated that 99.2% of people who are being hospitalized with COVID at this point are unvaccinated. That was the point that drew us to it. That was the point that convicted us to say, okay, maybe it's time. Let's just protect ourselves. We can't leave our kids parentless. Um, it would be very difficult if either of us had to go into the hospital and probably like that fear of me having to go to the hospital for a brain surgery and not knowing how long I would have to stay there if there were complications or never come home because there was a severe complication. I think us being in that place for so long, since March, you're talking over six months of just not knowing what things were going to look like. I think that all of that played into our decision to say, my husband's going to go get his second dose next week, Friday, and I got my first dose and I'll get my second dose at the beginning of October. And I think that all of our experiences there are what have contributed to our final decision. We're not going to do an experimental uh, <laughs> inoculation on our children. I, If anything, the FDA's delay of approving the children's vaccine because of certain side effects that they're seeing, that makes me trust the adult's approval even more because it's saying, they're not just gonna say, okay, yeah, you know, there are some issues, but it's fine, go ahead. They're not gonna say that. They're saying, no, we're seeing this myocarditis pop up a lot in children and it's causing these particular issues so we need to hold off. We need to figure out what's going on with that, what is causing it. And then we can talk about an emergency approval. But the fact that they're not just approving it across the board, blindly, no studies, not, you know, it makes me have a little more confidence in what they've approved for adults. So 
those are just my two cents though. That's my experience. Those are our experiences that have led to our choice to um, do this. I'm still 100% against the mandate. I am still absolutely 100% like it is a vaccine. It is up to you to discern what is right for your family, for you. Um, everybody who is susceptible to the disease obviously can take their own precautions. That's what we did. That's what we do when we have new babies. That is what our family does. So I just wanted to be able to share that though. So so good results, my tumor didn't spread, uh, good dash bad result, right? That there's an issue in my lumbar spine that it does require surgery to fix. And it's not just, uh, from what I have seen, you can't just drain it. You have to do, you have to actually get behind the bone to fix the dural defect. So, so you know, a different surgery potentially coming up here soon. And then I got my vaccine, so I likely, well, according to data, right? Like I likely wouldn't be hospitalized from COVID as soon as I'm fully vaccinated, which I am happy just to be able to have that security. I, I trust God, obviously. I trust God with a lot. Um, and, and he is our source of joy and peace and all of these things. And my TikTok and Instagram are going to be looking a little less Catholic. Like I'm not going to be referencing Jesus in every single post. I'm not going to be harping on the fact that I'm Catholic, Catholic, Catholic. And I don't know if YouTube is going to take that same turn or not. I don't know at this point. I think I'm probably maybe going to do two videos a week. That's what I'm leaning toward right now. And that would be one video would be with the Sacred Hearts behind me with a blue wall, like formal Catholic teaching stuff. And then the other videos would be, um, the other videos would be more of a lifestyle, more this is what's going on or like fun videos, you know, where Alec and I go and taste the fish sandwiches at restaurants like we did so long ago and different things like that just where it's a little more personable a little more let's get to know each other let's be friends let's you know what do you guys do for xyz we're going to the park we're going to the beach who knows like we went on family vacation here's a compilation of videos from that i don't know but just a little more lifestyle i think and um and and something that's just a little more fun because I need more fun in my life. That's ultimately what this has brought me to has been, I need more fun because I haven't been having a whole lot of fun. I feel like it's been a lot of, this is what the church teaches. This is how I have to present myself. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is. And I've been abiding by the set of rules. I've been as abiding by the set of guidelines, which is good and you know, beneficial. But at the same time, I am still human. I am so much the type of person that I have to be I'm like consistent, right? What you see is what you get. And so if I present myself online as a certain way or believing a certain way, that's how I'm being in real life. Like I post videos regularly, probably once a year about my struggle to get to mass on Sundays, or I post videos about my struggles because I'm not gonna come on here and try to save face, pretending like nothing's wrong, pretending like everything's hunky-dory and in the background, you know, I'm getting off here and whatever, like, I mean, yeah, I'm completely transparent in how I live my life. And so I just want to do that to the full. I want to be, you know, just, yeah, like if I want to have fun, like I have to have fun on here as well because who I am as a person can't have fun in the background and then come on here and be like, this is what the church teaches. Da 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 da. Here's my experience. Do to do. Here's why I think it could help you. Like I want to be like, hey, get your stuff together. <laughs> I want to have some fun with you guys. And I want to be able to do that um, on both sides of that aisle, because just like I said, who I am as a person, like I can't do that. I can't um, like have be having all this fun here and then become a different person here and then become a different person there and then a different person here. And oh, I'm supposed to act this way at this place and this way at that place. I can't do it. So, um, so I definitely just wanted to touch base with you guys, let you know that I'm back. I'm, I'm going to be doing videos again and I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to growing with you guys and know that I love you. I'm happy that I'm going to be around here for a while longer and I'm just, yeah, looking forward to growing with you. So I do always pray that God grants you the resources that you need to draw closer to him and in turn to those around you. And I pray you're able to make it a great day. I'll talk to you again very soon. Take care.